Hello, this is Jonathan Landeros with Kativ Technologies. Today, I'm going to show a utility from Autodesk Labs that caught my attention called Inventor Simplification. This technology preview from Autodesk Labs allows you to simplify a part or assembly by removing unnecessary components or features. You can also remove proprietary information through the simplification tools. One of the things that intrigued me about this tool is how easy it is to use. You select the components you wish to simplify, the components you wish to convert into representative envelopes, and the holes you want to close up and patch, all by picking on screen. It makes it very easy to use. So enough talk. Let's go ahead and see what the tool is all about. When I switch to Inventor, I have an assembly that I want to simplify. And Inventor Simplification has already added a Simplify tab that I'm just going to select right here. There's four icons to include components, define envelopes, combine the components, which is the final export, and then edit the view rep. And that just lets me make changes if I'm not happy with my first result. Let's go ahead and choose the components to include. Once the tool is selected, I can go ahead and start picking the components to include in the simplification. I can do this by just picking parts or by using the external option. Moving the slider, I can control the threshold by which Inventor's choosing these components, and I can go ahead and select what's going to be added. To add even more flexibility, you can combine these two options so you're not committed to one or the other. With that step completed, a view representation is created, surprisingly enough called simplification, and this remembers which components we've selected to simplify. Now I'm going to go ahead and define some envelopes. I'm going to select the engine head, and it's going to create a bounding box that I can use either a bounding box or a cylinder. I can even adjust the size of that box. With that accepted, the engine head is removed, but a volume shows where it would be. So I can remove details that either would be unnecessary for the end user or might contain proprietary information. Now, we're ready to combine components, which will export this out to a simplified inventor model in an IPT format. Now, we might be done here, or we can go ahead and take that simplified model and use the option to begin to cap holes, and that will simplify this even further. For example, let's take a section of the exhaust pipe here. We can see that it's hollow on the inside. Now maybe that's a tuned pipe and we've put a lot of time and energy into creating that geometry. We don't want to just give it away by setting out the model. We can use the cap options to close off the holes at each opening of the pipe. Once we accept it, Inventor simplification will chug a bit, and, but when it's done, this pipe is now a solid mass and there's no information available for an unscrupulous end user to take advantage of. So there we go. Inventor simplification at a glance. If you looked at this tool and thought, wow, I gotta get me more of that, check it out at labs.autodesk.com and download the technology preview. And be sure to give Autodesk your feedback. They're looking to make this tool better and your input's going to help. That's it for this video. Have a great day, everybody.